Hello everybody, lots of people asked on the last video what makeup I was wearing, which was the skincare basics video for people who just didn't know where to start. If you haven't seen that video, then I will link to that below. Um, so I've sort of recreated it, but there are two differences. It's like spot the difference, this video. Firstly, I've had my hair chopped quite dramatically. I was going to have a little trim, but I was doing an event for Colab and Kat, who normally cuts my hair, was doing the event with me and she had her scissors. So we just went for it. And actually I feel a lot fresher. I'm going to say fresh a lot in this video. Uh, second difference is, and lots of people ask about my dress as well, I had lots of sort of DMs and things like that. It's a, an old one from Whistles and it's either called the Lola dress or the Lila dress. I can't remember which one. However, I thought that I would wear one that you can actually get. I've just bought this one a couple of weeks ago. This is like a new season pattern. It's gorgeous. It's the same shape. It's really just nice and sort of loose but flattering. Uh, almost just like a big sort of shirt. So I will link to that as well so you can have a look. I wear a size, size that was small or a 10 in this just for reference. Um, so let's get started with the makeup. Right, kicking off with foundation. Now, this is the new True Match foundation from L'Oreal. I thought this was pretty spectacular before, but it has been reformulated and it's so, so hydrating. So they're calling this an 80% hydrating base. And where is my foundation brush? It's just so, so lightweight. So. Lots of the time when you have a very hydrating, bouncy feeling foundation, it can be quite a thick cream texture. This one is just really fluid. It's almost a fresh feel um, in terms of how lightweight and liquid it is, but the actual finish of it is so moisturizing. So for people with very dry or dehydrated skin, who don't want a heavier feel to the foundation. It's just so perfect. You still get this very flawless finish, but you can actually kind of customize the coverage because it's so blendable that you can shear it out or you can build it up. And either way you do it, you just get this really natural finish. Also, 40 shades, which I think is Pretty good going for a high street foundation, affordable foundation. Uh, I am using shade 3W, yes, 3W, it's on the lid, golden beige. And I just think that the formula is just incredible really. So, like I said before, just so lightweight and fluid, but so the hydrating feel, it's not a greasy residue, it just is beautiful. And I think that the test with this one is that when you remove it, your skin still feels hydrated and looks radiant. Uh, sometimes you can feel that you can put on a foundation and when you remove it, it's sort of a relief. Um, but with this one, as I said, you can barely feel that you have it on, but you're feeling the effects. So it almost feels more like skincare than makeup. But obviously you've got amazing coverage there. And the longevity is really good as it was with the previous True Match. I just think the improvements are spot on. I think that's an excellent high street buy, that one. What did I do next? I think that I just used the Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow. And you know what? Every time that I use Bronze and Glow, people seem to really like my makeup. Maybe it's the whole contouring thing. Maybe I should do that more often. So I just use the bronzing bit underneath the cheekbone. Wow, oh, that looks darker than in real life. Like this, which looks kind of absurd to start with. But then, just buff it out. And I just have chiseled-ish cheekbones. <laughs> Can go a bit wrong, this whole contouring thing. And you know, it's not that soft. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that sometimes I even think it can be a little bit aging, depending on what your face is like already. 
So I think, you know, it's good to, it's good to kind of go slow with it. Don't go too over the top, too chiselled. But now and again, it's quite nice, isn't it? It's like instant glamour. Bit of highlighter along the top of the cheekbones. Look, it's not my usual cheek routine. I know that, but um, I've just been doing it for the last couple of weeks because it makes me feel a little bit more glamorous. And it's probably a bit too much for daytime. It's too much for the school run, which I'm about to, to go and do. But, you know, I like to live life dangerously like that. Now, the main thing that everyone was asking me about in last week's video was the eyeshadow. So let's take a look at this. I'm sure that I've talked about this palette before in a video, but maybe I haven't. Maybe it was on Instagram. The NARS Voyageur palette. I always think it's called Voyeur, but it's not. And this one's in suede. And I think that I used this one, you can tell that's my most used, across the whole lid. And then I did a little bit of sort of dithering about in the um, crease of the eye with some darker shadow. If I didn't do that, then I don't really know what happened because this is what I do every single time that I wear this palette. So I go all over the lid, taking the slightly darker sparkly one. I think that I went into the outer corner. This is actually going to be a lot darker than what I did last week. I think it was pretty low key last week. And then buff it out with a clean brush saying that's clean, it's really not clean. I'm sure I'll live. So buffing it out like that. And then, it's more than likely that I did a little bit of the very dark matte one and the sparkly, just in the corner. Like that. Uh, I think that I put a little bit of liner underneath like this. Does that ring any bells? I really kind of wish I'd looked at a picture of myself now before I started this. It would have been helpful, wouldn't it? That looks about right, doesn't it? Okay, let's go with that. Uh, mascara was the L'Oreal Unlimited, which has got this bendy wand. No one will recognise me at the school gates because normally I'm wearing a pack -a mac no makeup. I'm looking really stressed. Well, I say normally, she's only been going in a week. I'm making myself sound like a veteran of the school run. Uh, brows, the usual benefit. Give me brow. I have been using um, the Glossier Boy Brow for a while, but last week I did use Benefit. I feel like I need to improve on my brow routine, if it could be called a routine. But then I think about it and I think life is too short and I actually really don't care. So I don't. I'm really quite happy just using a brow gel. I just feel like there are so many other things that I want to do with my day. I mean, if you genuinely like spending a lot of time doing your brows, I think that's amazing. But for me, it's a bit like painting nails. I can't stand painting nails. I know lots of people find it really therapeutic. Really can't stand it. It's one of those jobs that feels really futile, like unloading a dishwasher. I hate unloading a dishwasher because it's like you're putting it all away in cupboards and then in about an hour's time, you're gonna take all the stuff out of the cupboards, eat on it, put it in the dishwasher. And it's just like, what's the point in that? Why not just take it straight out of the dishwasher, eat on it, stack it all up on the top, and then when it's all empty again, put it back in. Or <laughs> have two dishwashers, an em uh, a dirty one and a clean one. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Not the most... Uh, Budget friendly option. I can't find my lip liner. 
I used the Charlotte Tilbury one, but I can't find it. So we're going to use this one, which is Beauty Pie, which is actually really nice. Although it's gone blunt and I don't have a... Is this a wind-up one? No? What does the end of this do? Do you get really confused with these pencils? Like some of them have a sharpener that comes off. Some of them wind up. And this is Longcom Mademoiselle Plays. I mean, this she does. And uh, I've talked about this before. Feels a little bit like the uh, YSL Volupte Shine, I think they're called, is in fact, I feel, almost identical. Longevity isn't great because, you know, it's a shiny, sheared out kind of number. But to be quite honest, I don't care. I love this kind of thing, like a posh lip balm, and it's very little you know, to no commitment. Um, but you still get this really glossy, juicy shine, you know, like you look polished and pulled together. So perfect. I mean, yeah, reapply about 30 times a day, but whatever. So I think that's it. It's not very many products, is it? Foundation, matte, foundation, bronzer, lipstick, eyeshadow, mascara. People were asking for a basics makeup video. I feel like I could kill two birds with one stone on this one. So there you go, hope that you enjoyed that. All of the products will be listed below and I shall see you in the next video. If you didn't watch the skincare basics video, I will link to that too. Go and catch up.